goodness comes in Kimungo Okumbozi, Kimungo Okumbozi, Kimungo Okumbozi, divine liberty, divine liberation, divine freedom, and all that that will bring for African people wherever we happen to be on the face of this earth. Karibu and welcome. My name is Quende, and today we're going to get into another important subject area, and that subject is celebrating your African family of oneness. The Creator Supreme has gifted the African with the ability to come together in oneness, to create life and the relationships that are established make real the African family of oneness, which is actually uh, a unit that is central in the sacred universe, a unit that is uh, powerful and a unit that carries the features of what it means to have nation. It's the microcosm of nationhood. Each of the members are steeped in, groomed in, and express living knowingness of the self so that it can optimally function. It can optimally develop, optimally grow, and, and fulfill its maximum potential and maximum capability. It is where building can take place. It is where uh, nurturing can take place. It is where cultivation can take place. It is where security can be affected. Unfortunately, in recent times, the African family has been set upon by others that mean the African ill. The attempt to strip the African of living knowingness of self is one of the key vices that has been used in that effort. As a result, survival units have come to the fore in replacement of the natural and optimally functioning and flourishing African family. And the reason why they are survival units is because not only is the living knowingness of self lacking, but you might not see African manhood represented. You might not see African womanhood represented amongst other uh, things. And at worst, all kinds of devastation and destruction, chaos and disorder can ensue because of dire conditions that the African has then been hurled into. But fortunately, African souls are rejuvenating themselves, re-energizing themselves, re-educating themselves, lifting themselves up in the living knowingness of who and what they really are and establishing true family units. As African men grow in African manhood, an African woman grows in African womanhood and the uh, and the young ones that blossom and grow as a result are wholesome and progressive. The units then are no longer survival, no longer fragmented, but become whole, become progressive, become optimally functioning again, steeped in the living knowingness of self, and thus are family, true family, divine family even. And this is through all year round effort, all year round cultivation, all year round growth, all year round development, self-determined by the African him or herself. 
And that restoration process, that coming together, re-establishing oneness at its core is so vital for African life. It means that families are recreated from progressive souls that are journeying to be to fulfill and be their living knowingness of self again important to note in this is that to move from a position of survival into one of full flourishing is a process of progressive transformation from a state that is less than fully functional to a state of optimal functionality. That is a process of transformation. And in that, the African must again define what African family is, not just uh, an intellectual knowing, not just a uh, theoretical knowing, but a living knowingness of what familyhood is and to make that real in their lives. And if all of the members of, the, uh, of an African family know who and what they are, mission for ascension, harmonize with each other and progressively build and develop in nationhood, then we have victorious living. The family, the true African family, the family out of which grand civilization has been made manifest is the family that is at the hub of the sacred universe. The family that is steeped in knowingness of self, shared oneness, and a oneness to be celebrated. So surely the African must make that all year round effort for that oneness to be realized as best as it is possible to do. And one of the special times in which to celebrate that effort is during the uh, celebration of Kwanzaa, which takes place on the from the 26th of December through to the 1st of January, seven days to highlight and be thankful for all of the glorious achievement to reestablish African family of oneness. So with that food for thought, and surely it is food for thought, Kimunga Ukumbozi, Kimunga Ukumbozi, Kimunga Ukumbozi, divine liberty, divine liberation, divine freedom, and all that that will bring for African people wherever we happen to be on the face of this earth.